Hi, welcome to today's video. My name's Paul. So today, a very short video. It's not a tutorial as such. I just wanted to um, sort of talk about a few ideas that I have about painting watercolor landscapes. Not because I think my ideas are perfect or anything, or this is how you should paint. It's just, this is how I paint and maybe some people are interested. And specifically what I wanted to talk about was color saturation. So you can see, for example, here, I'm putting on this blue horizon line. I'm using French ultramarine blue. And it's very, initially when I put it onto the paper, it's very intense. And the sort of the intensity or the saturation of the color with watercolor depends on a few things. But first of all, it depends on the sort of proportion of pigment to water in the brush. Basically, the more water you add, the more diluted the color will be. But there's also another factor to consider, and this is maybe unique to watercolor. Um, as the, the pigment and the water sink into the paper and start to dry, the intensity of the color, the saturation of the color will fade. And you can see this happening with that horizon line. Even after just a few minutes, um, the color has started to fade quite a bit. It's no longer as intense as it was. So it's worth remembering with watercolor, as you put the paint onto the paper, it may be very intense, but that intensity might decrease um, as the, the paint starts to dry. So it's something that you might need to compensate for. The other thing I want to talk about, and this is more to do with the sort of impressionist style that influences my uh, paintings, especially watercolor uh, landscape paintings. And that's about using broken patches and dabs of very intense, pure color again taken straight from the tube and you can see me adding in the dabs of color here on the left. I do that to create sort of implied details. So you can see the scan of the final painting here. It's sort of a field filled with yellow and blue flowers and to create that impression of flowers is just little dabs, little broken dabs of pure color. And even as you go into the background or the middle ground, the patches of color are not, it doesn't cover the whole paper. It's broken. And it's a sort of technique that the impressionists use this for broken patches or broken dabs of color. It just creates a feeling of um, that there's detail there and the viewer will see it as detail. Okay. So, like I say, pretty short video today. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, just click on the big red subscribe button below and hopefully see you in the next video.